<laughs> all right, all right, guys. We are here at Zodiac. I just did an interview with Mark about this seven meter med line, but guess what? Today we get a special treat because I almost threw this man off of a boat doing a sea trial. Bob! I'm still, I'm still alive and it's <laughs> wonderful. Hey, there's nobody that drives the boats crazier than me. Please. Uh, so we're here, Bob. Uh, it's freezing outside, first of all. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if people are going to be able to see that, but I'm at the Chicago Boat Show 2020 and dude, this boat is beautiful. This is like a 6.5, is that what we got? Six here? and a half meter open. It's a six and a half open. So this is very similar to the 5.5 that I actually did a uh, video of. I did a video of the 5.5 and I did a factory tour at Zodiac, which I'll put a link above. If you guys haven't seen that, I definitely encourage you to see that. But this boat, I mean, this almost looks like a four by four on the water slash, I mean, I don't know what you guys want to call this. So tell me a little bit about the boat, uh, Bob. Okay, so th this is the newest model of the Open series. Uh, there are three models. There's the Open 5.5, which we introduced about a year and a half ago. Uh, there's the Open 7, 7 meters, which was open, uh, introduced about two and a bit years ago. And this is all new for 2020. So it's 6.5 meters. It replaces the old Pro Open 650. So we still make a Pro six and a half meter boat, which essentially below the waterline is the same hull. So they have the same running characteristics. The only one is the uh, the only difference being is that the Open 6.5 is a pre-configured deck layout and the Pro model is like Lego. You can put whatever accessories you can build Very, it very you modular. Like. Yeah, very, it, just like Lego. <laughs> so the one nice thing is that both the Open 5.5 and Open 6.5 share all of the same deck components. So the T-tops are the same, the bolster and the backrest, all the accessories are shared on both platforms. So it's, it's fairly easy, easy to configure your boat. Um, this year we're gonna go to a little bit more of a standardized build and include features like the T-top, uh, the bolster backrest, the, uh, and the, uh, that beautiful tow bar that looks really great. I like it, man. It looks, it almost feels like a Jeep slash 4x4 on the water. I really like the feel that this boat has. Look at these tubes, guys. We got some, you know, carbon fiber looking uh, hypalon here with some skid, non-skids and stuff like that. I mean, this thing is really nice really thought out with a lifeline and everything. Cool, so the um, the options on these boats are rather interesting. The, the boat is available in both uh, PVC and Hypalon, uh, your choice. Um, this is an option in that the standard bow cushion is only the first section, but you can option it out to do the full sun pad so that people can lie out uh, in, and catch some rays. Um, I like those rails up front as well. The one nice thing about utility is you've got, um, you need storage in a boat. So this has a ton of storage for all your gear, life jackets, paddle, all the safety equipment and everything. And then um, the other thing too is that for those that, that like to have their boats on a trailer and store them in their own garage, if you opt not to have the T-top, as you can see, there's hinges on that uh, console. The whole thing tilts forward so you can get it into a low garage. Really, really nice feature for those that are kind of weekend warriors that like to uh, take their boats out for, uh, for a cruise, but leave them in the garage. Anyways, moving a little bit back, uh, we've put in the uh, non-skid decket flooring, which is available on most boats nowadays, which makes for a really nice thing, especially when you're in uh, bare feet. And uh, with respect to configurations, this is generally the most common way of doing it. You've got the bolster backrest, which gives, kind of locks in the two people sitting here. Mm -hmm. Capacity of this boat is nine people. So primarily you've got three or four along the back, a bunch of people on the tubes up in front, and it's a, just a nice comfy riding position. The other thing too is that take a look at the helm. You've got tons and tons of room for screens and bells and whistles and yeah. toys and whatever. I really like the visibility. I like the, the fact that you can put your feet here nice and comfortable. You know, you have this, this backrest feels very, very sturdy and strong. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this, there's something to this. Um, now, I know that on the 5.5, 
these um, these side rests were, were were you were able to remove them if you wanted to, right? He has all three back components removed, and those are rod holders if you so decide to do to use it as a uh, as a real fishing. I'm, I'm a rib fisherman, guys. I have even a, a rib fishing channel. To, to, so to this is how it works. You want to turn these into rod holders. Boom. That's all you have That's to do. It. Wow. And these come out. You can stow these up in the uh, in the forward uh, locker area. Bob, what's what's powering this? Power on this max power on this boat is a one one seventy five horsepower. Open five five is one hundred and thirty horsepower. And this is equipped and runs probably the best with about a one fifty Yamaha. One fifty. And I see that there's a little platform there. Is that to get on and off yeah, the boat? Yeah, this is a feature that we brought out when we introduced the Open 5.5. Uh, primarily geared towards divers or families that like to swim offshore. Okay. And uh, the boat comes standard with a swim ladder, but it's generally attached to the hull. This is just a nice feature in that there's lots more area to get uh, back on board. I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. Fun boat. Um, very, very compliant and soft riding in, uh, in rough water. and uh, Very, very stable, very yeah. fast. And dry. Predictable. Oh, all rib boats are dry. This, yeah. thing, this thing is a, a beast. Um, so, Bob, where can they go online? I know you guys are with Zodiac. You know, is, is some, uh, Somerville, uh, uh, um, South, Car South, South Carolina, yeah, right? The, the boats are actually made over in Tunisia. Okay. And final assemblies in Somerville, South Carolina. Uh, okay. Uh, they're available all across North America. We've got a dealer network. And the web address is www.zodiacnautic-nautic.com. And you guys are also on social media. I know Kevin is really big about that. So yeah. you can guys follow them on their social media, on Instagram and all that good stuff. All the usual platforms. Uh, uh, listen, I... I haven't thrown you off of this one, so maybe we can do a Citra on this one. Maybe I can scare you on this one. I don't know. Do I have to shake on it? Do I have to talk? Do I have to call the higher ups? Bob, let me tell, let me know. We can go boating anytime. Oh, it's all good. You, we got him, guys. We got him. Okay. Wait, we're gonna have to shake on it. Yeah, just let me. We, drive. we got him. We, ah, I'm driving, guys. I'm driving. Hey, we're over here. Thank you, guys, for the Chicago boat show. It's freezing, but we're gonna do this. Zodiac in the house. Cheers. We got. Guys, we're here in Chicago. Hey, that if you pop that, look, I'll give you a knife. Try, try to pop that boat. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll give you a knife. If you can pop it right now, I'll give you a hundred dollars. No way. I'll, right now, I'll, 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 I'll do that challenge. No, that's all right. Oh, no, you see that, guys? See that? That is the perception. They have no idea how strong. Mark, what's up, Mark? Hi, I'm Mark with Reed Yacht Sales. This is a Medline 75, one of the newest models we're making. Outstanding look, bold colors, unique boat out here to have some fun with. Zodiacs, as you know, one of the best running ribs out on the market. This thing will go through any water. 24 feet long, huge Yamaha outboard on this thing, 52 miles an hour. Rock and roll. 52 of this Medline, guys. Let me show them, Mark. I'm going to show them a little bit out here. And then I'm going to jump aboard with you because I have not. Is this a, is this an entire new model for for Zodiac? Yes, it's seven five is a new model, new look, full arch, bimini built in, really nice setup on this. So guys, we're at the 2020 Chicago Boat Show, and um, we're we're looking at these Zodiacs. All right, so I'm going to get in there. Let me get in there, Mark, so you can go ahead and. We can go and get a little deeper in there real quick. Let me jump on the boat. All right, guys, let's, let's jump on. Oh, my God, look at this open pro. Mark, you, you saw the video that I did at the factory at Zodiac, right? I did. Oh, guys, if you have not seen that video, you got to see that video. I actually walked the entire manufacturing plant, and I went as deep as you can go with the workers who are building these boats, and I was so impressed would tell how they were building. I'll, I'll put a link to that video above. So Mark, tell me a little bit now that I'm in the boat. Welcome aboard. So you get obviously full stand-up bolstered for high performance. You want to be running this boat fast, standing, having a good time, you got a great angle here. If you want to sit down and relax around the marina, you can do that too. You got a nice foot rest, easy dual seat set up here. Big flat console area. Want to mount electronics? No problem right in nothing in your field of view that way you can add tilt wheel if you want tilt wheel got great wraparound u-shaped seating in the back 
set up to really party. Also makes a great sun pad. You can fill it in completely. Wow, guys, let me walk, show you. Walk out the stern, one cushion pulls out on the backrest there, and you can walk right out onto the integral swim platforms with the swim ladder back there. Ski bar, roll bar set up right into this. Great for tubing. Going to the beach with all your buds. You even have a built-in bar. We all want to make sure you have a good time. Oh, you guys are showing off. The set up your wet bar set up. Get a nice cutting board. Chop up your limes. Get your drinks ready. Keep everything right here. I like this here. What do we got here? This We've so got this is retractable. Bimini system. That is nice. Basically, just flip out the levers and you can adjust its height. Oh. Locks in different positions. It all retracts down back into the arch so that it comes right up to it. You can bring the back one in the same way. So if you want full sunshine, it just takes seconds to fold it back up and away. So Mark, this table here is, is, is retractable. How does this work? Yep, you got a nice teak table. If you want to drill in some cup holders, we'll take care of that for you at the dealer level. And you can see it's a removable table leg. You remove it, the table lays down in there, the cushion goes on top, makes a big sun pad. Well, you know, Zodiacs are known for their performance, and I've done multiple videos. Yeah. I actually did a video with Kevin of the Enzo. Oh, my goodness, what a ride, let me tell you. Uh, that one had uh, some E-Tex. This is, what's powering? This is powered by Yamaha? Yamaha, 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower. So, come on forward, check out the space up here. This is what I call the fun seat. You sit right here in front of the console. Your buddies are driving, getting you up around 45 50 miles an hour having a good time out on the water you can lay out in the sun pad get great hand holds and rails all the way around you huge storage space on this boat extra sun pad fill ins that fill in this area so your entire front end fills in nice so you huge lay sun out. pad over seven feet long that's that's really nice i really like this this looks like it's new too all these handles and the, the rails on the actual tubes are sitting on what appears to be some type of you know base and i think that's really smart of them i like that you yeah. got the bow step up up up, up front um, i'm assuming there's a bow locker in front of that uh, cushion there is a deep bow locker there there's also a cushion we didn't install it for the show yet there's okay. another cushion that goes right here so oh. as a backrest for you probably has a little zodiac if you logo want to add a windlass you can otherwise your anchor can be there and the line can run down into your anchor locker so we've got a forward anchor locker up here as well oops there we go nice deep locker that is nice well um, I see, I see, is, uh, the, I'm assuming this is a Hypalon or a PVC version? These are all Hypalon when oh. you get to this size. This okay. quality of boat, we want you to have the best materials. Guys, and Hypalon is the way to go, uh, especially in warmer climates. I always recommend that. I'll tell you, this is a very, very nice looking boat. Mark, um, what's the fuel capacity on this uh, Zodiac? So what are we talking about fuel fuel capacity? You got 79 gallons on board. Se 79? Yep. And, um, Great cruising range that way. And, and you're, you're talking about a lot of range with this guy. Yeah, around this area you can run from Chicago all the way up to Bay Harbor or Door County. That's uh, going from pretty much one end of the lake to the other. I see some some, some latches there. Are those latches in to get into the yep, inside yep. of the console? Huge storage space inside the console. Oh man, you see this is, this is why I come to the show because I have to ask these questions. <gasps> no! No! All your water sports activities, oh skis, God. wakeboards, Guys, you can pack them in there. You can put a sea bob, you can put anything in there. Oh my goodness. A lot of times I like to put my Yeti cooler in there full of a few cocktails. <laughs> so, um, we're, we're, we're we talking about price point, Mark. So, we're today, I mean, it's the 2020 2020 show in Chicago. It's freezing outside, I know, but. You know, people are going to be interested in a, in a 24 foot rib boat, and uh, what are they looking at? I mean, we don't have to be 100% because this it, package, it, way it sits right here, you're just about $100,000. Just about $100,000. Yep. And uh, if they wanted to go with something other than Yamaha, they can? 
you can. Uh, Yamaha's the preferred engine, most reliable, dependable engines out there. The factory will also sell us a bare boat and we could add a different uh, engine package outside of it. So if you're a BRP man, a Mercury guy, we got you covered. So you, you represent uh, Reed Yacht Sales, right? Reed Yacht Sales, three locations across the Midwest, the largest Zodiac dealer in North America. Okay. We uh, basically stock the most ribs. We've got this boat in stock, ready to sell, get somebody spring started right away. All right, so where can they go online to either check out the website and also email you personally? So where can they you go? You bet. Read Yacht Sales. It's R-E-E-D, YachtSales.com. If you want to email me, it's just Mark at ReedYachtSales.com. Guys, I'm telling you, Zodiac, these guys are making incredible products. And uh, it's a Zodiac. I mean, these guys are the ones who started this game. So, I mean, look, look. I'm just going to refer them to watch the factory video so they can see how well these boats are made. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and talk about these other Zodiacs as well. So I'll put a link above or an end screen on these guys because we're going to do this as well. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. It's great to see you guys. Hope to see you out on the water.